Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. In celebration of TBC coming to the world of classic, we on retail have been given a bonus event. Yes, that is right. Time Walking TBC is now live. Are you prepared? Yes, that is right. TBC is back on retail for the Time Walking event. To be fair, this was on the schedule when Shadowlands launched. So it's kind of been pushed back a little bit. So it's been a while since we've seen it. Now this is good news for those demon hunters looking to transmog like daddy. By gaining the arsenal, the war glaives of Azanov. For the rest of us, there is a chance to gain the reins of the infinite time dragons and stuff. So, you know, I say that. It's an extremely small chance for it to drop. But still, there is a chance nonetheless. There is also... Castle Nathria normal raid gear on offer. I level 200. You just need to complete five time walking dungeons to receive it. Don't forget, if you want this, either collect the quest from in front of the vault or use your adventurer's guide, Shift J, and accept the quest from there. Now, sadly, when it comes to gear from time walking, it really isn't great, let's be honest. We've got eye level 158 dropping from the bosses themselves and a really bad 138 coming from the vendors. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not looking for heroic or mythic raid gear or something coming from the re these rewards. But with these kind of item levels, they're not even great for ult, so let's be honest. Why not give uh, something different, something interesting in terms of reward? Now yeah, maybe you could have these tier sets as cosmetic rewards that we can gain. Or maybe create a whole new chromy reward system. I don't know, gain something crazy like a million coins and you get a free character boost? Something ridiculous like that. Or the ability to purchase all the heirloom gear using coins. Now I know to many these may still not be interesting rewards, but at least it's something more interesting than 158 gear. That I can't even disenchant about getting TBC mats? Thanks Blizz. Now along with the time walking dungeons, we do also get the sign of the twisting nether. This will give us 50% boost towards various factions in the Burning Crusade. A couple stand out, if you are looking for the mounts, the Scenarian Expedition. That grants access to the Scenarian War Hippogriff, which is quite a cool one. The Shatari Skyguard, if you are looking for all things Never Ray related. I think off the top of my head there's like five different colour variations. Then we have the Canary and the Magar, if you like those tall books. And finally we have the Netherwing, and this may shock you if you're really into Netherwing Drakes. Yeah, there you go. So while we're talking about mounts, that leads us into time walking badges and rewards. The biggest and most expensive item that you can buy with your time walking coins currently are the mounts, costing around 5,000 coins. Now they are only available when the corresponding time walking is up. So for instance, we have the Beast Lord. The Iron Tusk and the War Wolf are only available when Warlords of Drenor is available. The Iron Band Wraith Charger, Wrath of Lich King, Yuli, the Daughter of Jade from Miss, and finally, and available now, is the Reigns of the Eclipse Dragonhawk. And it's the same with the lower priced items. Now we're obviously, because it's TBC that's up, going to focus on TBC. At 1,500 coins, we have the Mark of the Ash Tongue. This is a toy that will allow you to disguise yourself as one of the Broken from the Black Temple. For 750 coins, we gain the Fractured Necrolite Skull. This is quite a funny one. It lets you consume the soul of a critter, enabling us to open a portal to the Black Temple. If you're planning on farming the Black Temple, that's actually not a bad one to have. At 500 coins, the ever-shifting mirror. Use this toy to reveal convergence points between Drenor and Outland. Last, we have, for again, 500 coins, the Verdant Throwing Sphere. As you can guess, stand near a friendly player, click on it, throw it to them. If they've got space in the bag, they'll throw it back. Yeah, great, there you go. Now, as we said at the beginning, one of the big draws from this will be gaining access to the transmog version of the Warglaives of Azanoth. But getting these can be a little confusing. Now first up what we're going to need to do is have both the main hand and the off hand Warglaze of Azanoth on the same character. In short, you're going to need the achievement Warglaze of Azanoth. With that box ticked, the next part is to kill Illidan Stormrage on time walking difficulty Black Temple. 
Now this can be done on any character. Doesn't need to be your demon hunter. Doesn't even need to be the character that you originally looted both the glaives on. No, it just needs to be on the same Battle.net account. Once done, you receive. I'll uh, hold these for you until you get out. Achievement. And there you go. You are now the proud owner of the Demon Hunter only exclusive transmog. As for the rest of us, we have the chance to pick out some tier 6 pieces from Time Walking. Another thing to note is that all items that drop from the raid are item level 200. So, if you suddenly fancy that Skull of Gul'dan, but now at eye level 200, well, now's your chance. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, TBC Time Walking. People either love it or they hate it. I know. I know the item levels are kind of a bit blah, but as I say, you're either going to be one of those that goes, Ugh, it just doesn't do justice to how amazing TBC was. I'm looking forward to just going TBC Classic and forgetting this silly time walking. The original was amazing, and this just isn't a patch on it. I get that. And others will go, ah, something different to do. And I love the look of those dungeons. Let's go give it a go. And to be fair, that kind of sums up time walking as a whole. It is a bit of a Marmite feature at the moment. But if you are going to be heading into Time Walking this week, I wish you a ton of luck. Whether it's for that elusive infinite mount, whether it's for the transmogs, the loot, or any of the other mounts and goodies that you can possibly get. But that is enough from me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Laters.